All right then, let's find out. Will Spirit bounce back or is this phase going into that grand final? Antwerp, let me hear you! No waiting around. Map two, T-side, Spirit. They are feeling it. Fast out long, the pops in, Brokey, he's gonna get flashed back by Carrigan, looking for more fights, Spirit won't take them, they tuck in behind the boxes, no mollies, it's a pistol round, Brokey, he's gotta fight his way out of position, jumping up and jumping down, dodging death, and Spirit are just waiting, Magic's finally picked, Brokey can actually get out. Yeah, Magic's hung out to dry, man, left over at the long side, now a man down, Spirit gonna have to try and crawl back into this one, out through middle, up onto Shaw. Full faith in Chopper. Moving up with this bomb, looking destined to be the A play. They've got one smoke, two flashes to try and make this work, to try and make it happen. Fast activation available from Brokey in mid. Two-man hold. Rain and Carrigan here. It's the two all boys of FaZe Clan to hold the line down on this safe on site. Oh. Carrigan's dead right away, so it's all eyes on Rain. All hopes on Rain. And there's the first. Oh. And there's the second. And he's laid to rest. Oh, but Brokey with the wrap round. FaZe, lovely pistol to kickstart Dust 2. Shot in the back of the head by Brokey, and that's what we needed, right? This guy was quiet in that first map. He was the bottom performer for FaZe, and that's not normal to see. This guy's a clutch shot, but he's not been in those positions in the major so far. He's won his 1-1v1, but mostly Brokey not needed to be put in those positions, or now more than ever, FaZe thank him for that pistol. Starts and ends it, and this one should be even quicker. Rain, make that money, make that money, make it rain, baby. Out on the long side, Carrigan's here helping out. And they deal with the pistols with ease, they keep it nice and clean. No problems, only the MP9 loss, so FaZe are more than happy. Laughing all the way to the bank, in fact, as Spirit buy back in and show us their first rifle round. And this is the question, what have they got? How are you really gonna catch FaZe off guard on a map where it feels like we've seen everything? Where the meta is established, but there's no real questions on what T's can get away with. Chopper needs something special. Dex is going to scout mid and almost hit that headshot. Micro adjustment just a little bit too far. But no one makes it lower and Spirit have that info. However, that smoke puts a flank in, puts a question mark in, and Rain plays off the back of it. While eyes are drawn to double doors, Rain picks up the first. Yeah, Robson Rain, magic duo, art of misdirection over in middle, allows Rain to get that opener. Spirit now, a wounded animal in this one, just looking for a way out. They'll take anything. Moving in through middle, re-swing. Brokey wants to get involved. Oh. He does leave him out on a bit of an island here. Twist is helping. It will make matters worse. They've lost oh. one of these B defenders. Spam almost connects. Close behind the doors. Wow. They check for Rops. The trade's immediate. Brokey has to go reinforce B, but they're already in. He doesn't know about Siren. He doesn't know that someone's already made it past. That Molly will give it away. Now the alarm bells are going off. Now the siren's been sounded. 3v3 and phase grouping for a retake at this side of the map. Yeah, for such an inexperienced player, Siren is so good at finding these gaps. He did it for Mirage on that T side, breaking out into B as well. It's a repeat. But we need more results for Spirit. Stuck back in tunnels is Magic's phase all coming from the mid side. Brokey fakes it out lower. We've not got a flashbang primed and ready it's gonna have to be dry fights phase in from the top it's rob's first contact waiting on that door smoke fade no one's fighting no one's facing carrying with a kill traded rain gets another and it's all on siren again he's got to finish what he started 1v1 rain over the top and he rains down oh! death but siren wins the round cool as a cucumber first t side round for spirit and it's all siren baby a 1v3, absolutely huge, man. Even the flick up to find Ray. How does he save it? He should have been a dead man. That should have been a phase clan round, but look at this. Just perfect, every peak so clean, so much intention. Had the read on the last man. Oh, Dexter, these have been close connections, but not quite. Carrigan's taken all the way Mate, up Carrigan, top middle. Carrigan does two scout. Should I say more? This guy's a menace with this gun here. Yeah, he's actually cleared out the top of middle, so those long players can relax. Carrigan can't. Oh, eyes was on the prize, but spirit sneak underneath the scope. 
Carrigan's gone back to reinforce the B site along the rocks. That's Spirit's intention. As they direct themselves out middle contact, the smoke's on the fly. Twist can do nothing about it. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Not quite the kill, but it's going to soften them up for this scout on Carrigan. Oh, oh, he's painting them up even more so. Now looking up into the window, they're trying to make their oh, way in. These dear. SMGs are doing so much damage in middle. Chopper will hold on. The rest of the gang still grouped in the tunnels. They haven't committed yet. They don't have to go. They've still got 55 seconds left to play with here. Util now going in. Oh, here. Rops isn't Ouchie. burning yet. Rops is still alive Ooh. in the back of the site. He's moving so much. They might assume it's clear. Spirit, if they do want to change their mind, they've got to be quick. They're running out of time here. Going in through the lower oh, tunnels. Dear. Brokey holding for it. There's the lineup. Brokey with three. Oh, takes the dead in the upper tunnels. Phase, they collapse on them. Crushed. And it's Mirage all over again. Spirit, they take rounds, they drip them in here and there, but it's FaZe to always break the money, break the hearts, and never let these teams streak together anything. Already a fantastic, oppressive start for FaZe, not scared of getting involved, throwing themselves up middle, rain fighting, catwalking, rifle rounds, pushing lower tunnels. You're not gonna contain FaZe right now, not when they're feeling like this. And they know Spirit may have a game plan, man. They may have tricks up their sleeve. But if FaZe cut those sleeves off, then Spirit aren't going to be able to show us anything. One thing that Spirit always have at their back pocket here are these B leans or these B rushes, right? Maybe they don't go right away, but it's very explosive. It's very pacey once they get moving. And I think if FaZe have shown us anything to open this one up, it's that they're prepared for that. They're willing to overstack that B side of the map. They've got faith. In the two players holding a twist of Rob's Brokey leading mid. And right now, all the openers going the way of phase. Oh. It's a good start, good look. Chopper's the eagle, ringing out with one, inspires a bit of hope, but only for a second. He manages to make it over. Oh, oh but his teammate's not so lucky. Yeah, this is a rough one for Spirit. FaZe will give them a second to relax. But Brokey is the only guy fighting here, the only guy needed. Scoped up down mid, bomb in his sights. Carrigan's activating, they're holding for it, but range game gonna favor him. And right now it's only Chopper who's making footy steps right that around hit. in middle. Brokey gets a wall bang, Carrigan's closed the net, and Chopper gets collapsed upon again. It's phase 4-1. No respect gameplay right now. They don't want it to get close. They don't want it to ease up. They just want to roll over Spirit as quick as they can. All right, Spirit, this is where they have to show us. You know, they got what it takes. They've got the mentality of a champion. Oh, baby. They're going to go back to the tried and tested chopper B push. Everyone in the tunnels. It's the perfect round to do it. Right now, only twists here. One man, the entire site to hold on to, and a Spirit that are exploding in. Twists up and over, Ouch. but dead right away. Over in mid, Rops tries to respond. They're moving in. He's brought it back to even odds, but what does Rops want to do here? He Stop. doesn't want to sit on his laurels, doesn't want to let other people fight his battles Ooh. for him. He's looking to be a hero in the wall banks. These are so close. Double orb retake, I don't need to tell you how difficult. Carrigan in through the tunnels, dead right away. And now with the numbers starting to dwindle, FaZe decide they want no part in it. Chopper, he goes back to what he does best, a little B-pop. And Spirit are in with the second round. Yeah, this site is his castle. Chopper's the king of it. FaZe, even the save is not guaranteed. Brokey watches spawn, it's the right read. Quick shot, he's feeling it, man. Brokey, I just called him out. Coming into this second map, the quietest guy in the server in that first, but boy, oh boy, does that not seem to repeat itself, not rear its head again. 10 and two on the main orb. Rops has even brought out a second still. Surely we're gonna have this mid fight, right? CTs don't often peek down these uh, middle doors anymore, but Dex has been going for it so much. Do FaZe wanna challenge it, or would they rather smoke nade the cross, get that safe guaranteed path? Dexter looks, and so does Rops. 
Oh. oh! Patsy never knew what hit him. Was not ready for that. The disrespect from Rocks to go peeking down mid while they're scoped up on the angle. Magic's boosted. Way taller than Carrigan's ready for. He's fighting a giant. This famous character. If Magic peeks too deep, that barrel's going to show. Give Carrigan an inch, he'll take a mile. Keeping that conditioning clear. Spirit smoke the B site, making FaZe worry, making them wonder. Flash into middle, all the makings of what FaZe's worst nightmare is. The chopper B hit. But is it just a nightmare or is it reality? Spirit double back to the tons, bomb in tow as well. This time though, it's distinctly different, man. There's a difference here. It's not Rops leaning in middle, it's twists there instead. And he's gonna be able to quickly reroute into the site if needed. Rops can watch that smoke. It's nothing more than a ruse out of Team Spirit. This bomb is poised on the short side. They've still got Magic's boosted. Remember, we commented on that right at the start. He's still over here at long, locked in this fight with Carrigan. This is building to be an A hit. And right now, Brokey and Carrigan are the only defenders here. Rain oh, is know. slowly starting to yeah. make his way over. That smoke in the tunnels has faded. Suddenly, FaZe say something is not right here. There's no contact at B. And so with 12 seconds, Spirit, they've got to be fast. They've got to be furious. They're saving. And they're running out of this one. They don't go for it. Oh, no. That's pressure right there. They look this round dead in the face, and they say, no, we'll play next. A full start, man. On the sprint, they fall right over. Spirit don't even get to see that finish line. They don't even get out on the catwalk. And sadly, it might just be the right call, right? That realization, 15 seconds, it's not happening. We don't have the kill. And you know if you lose the first man on that execute, it is done. But that is not the spirit that we know and love. That is not the spirit no. that we need right now in this semi-final phase win just by staying alive. Krieg now for Magix. He wants to go mad. Patsy's out the madhouse, through the long doors, blinded, and finds Carrigan, but it doesn't oh. matter, he's got two. Orb's still here. Brokey's tucked in car side, but Spirit have Molotovs to clear this position. More than enough, they wait for a reflash, they wait for a reaction. It's a round that Spirit cannot afford to lose. Not if they play their cards right. Rob's bad timing, oh. he's gonna get cleared. And bit by bit, down phase drip, 1v5. And this should be Spirit's. Yeah, Twist is just looking to save, man. There's an orphan up a tunnels. He wants to get his hands on it, wants to take it out of this round if he can. And thankfully, Siren's given him that respect. Twist will be allowed to grab the orb, but that is... That's nothing more than a token of gratitude, really. Gonna have that in play in the next round, and Spirit are in with the third. Very nice to see them, right? Yeah, you know, they, they kind of have that non-starter in the last round. They end up saving four, but they immediately pick it up. And perhaps most importantly, it is clean. It is five alive at the end of this one. Yeah, the question is, do FaZe let that go unpunished, right? Every time it felt like a mirage, the spirit would finally break the streak and get in. FaZe always had a response. That's a very aggressive CT rounds. That was their undoing here, right? The long flash plays going through smokes, hunting trade kills. Spirit denied it on every step. So it's probably going to go back for this orb if he knows it's in play. The last second grab. Set up Roki, who certainly come in clutch to start this map. 10 and 3 still. Yeah, it all started with this man. Patsy just did this whole thing single-handedly. Like, he gets three openers on A, that's the round. He hits us with the eyebrows, <laughs> and everybody's doing it. Double orb, still a factor for FaZe. That saved one who softened the blow. Oh, this oh. orb fight in mid, and it's won by Rops. You can see that one coming together. Dexter had no angle over the smoke. On the wrong side, Rops finally puts it to use for an opening kill. But Magix is back to his dirty tricks. Tricks that Carrigan hasn't quite figured out, but he's also not played into the palm of this player. Spirit, if they want to do what they couldn't the other round, they've got to do it quicker. Plenty of time at least. You've got to get this orb off the angle. No Molotov down yet. There it is. Perfect timing. Brokey forced to retreat. 
And that set Patsy up instead. With Dex's AWP, he's going to have to be the one cracking open this bomb site. I mean, fundamentally, they're very different all players, man. Patsy's someone who likes to get involved, likes to be in the fight. That's why you always see him on these rifles. So with him donning that gun, He's going to try and be an AWPA at the forefront of Team Spirit. They know what's going on. Twist has heard all of this. Yeah, Robs is even pushing the upper tons right yeah. now, about to get that info phaser, building a picture as to what is meant to happen in this round. Over on short, there's a swing. Oh! Carrigan up close, swing hits. A miss on the second. Now they're out, spilling over. Brokey here with this AWP. Waiting patiently, waiting for a chance. Oh! That was almost the lineup. First man gone. Dropping down is Chopper, fighting up in the face, but they're wrapping the short side phase one step ahead, and Chopper's cancelled out. It's a beautiful round for Twist and Rops, right? They combine so effectively. Twist waits so patiently in middle until Rops clears the entirety of tunnels, knows he only needs to watch one side, and with every footstep made, every molly thrown, every smoke set up for Spirit, FaZe put together a picture of where that round's ending. Rops began it all, and he closes it as well. Lovely flank through the smoke for Twists. Faze still ferocious. And Rops, unforgiving as ever. All right. Aggro Orp, front of the pack. Rops, oh. they baited it out of it. Oh. It's up on short. It's a dud. Brokey's there to get the trade. Damn good entry for Patsy, man. The fact that he even gets away with it is impressive enough, but it will fall shortly after into the favor of FaZe yet again, four on three. Bomb tucked in on Chopper, he's got to escape, and Twist wants to continue to press the issue, push up. Mate, this is relentless. These are not risks he has to take, but he wants to add insult to injury, pushing in. Oh. He might find his timing. Oh my goodness, they Twist. no idea. He is threading the needle right now, walking the knife's edge, and on this backstab, it's all twists. The round is in the palm of his hands. Is the timing there? Yep. Yes, it is. Taps Magic's out. Saw the bomb. Now with the info, they know that bomb was destined to go A. This might have to be another save out of Spirit 1 that they don't want to call. Yeah, and but objectively, it's the only call left. And even then, it's not guaranteed. Brokey still peeking deep angles. He might catch this retreat from Chopper. Good flash, perfectly placed to get Spirit out, but that's all it's going to allow, Harry. Like you said, the save at 30 seconds, a ha haunting call to have to make, but Spirit have been just pulled out, for, the rug pulled out from underneath them in so many of these T rounds with phases non stop aggression. Be it Rops in lower, Twists in upper, Brokey in middle, Carrigan on long, everyone's had their chance. Rain, he was the guy who absolutely blitzed through that first map as well. He's just anchoring down A, barely getting to play these rounds. And what a recovery art for Rain, right, in a, in a in team of superstars. We even heard that quote, they brought it up on the desk prior to the first map, right? All these questions, all these considerations of cutting a player, cutting Rain, replacing him with whoever, it only gave him confidence. It only gave him motivation to play better, as he said himself. And boy, has that much materialized in this major. Is it phases major is still the question. Or can underdogs rear their head again? Well, all this round is going to have to come down to those saved guns. It's the AWP on Dexter. It's the AK for Chopper. They've got to do all the heavy lifting Woo! here. And Chopper will provide the opener. Now the B rush is in. Rain up close. Talk about the devil. And he shall appear. They're running in. Rain dead off the one. Flashes through the door. Rops wants to come through. Fighting. Oh, he's out on an island. Double Cut dinked. down by the Glocks. Oh ah. dear, this one's getting out of control. FaZe, we're not expecting this. And with the hero guns, with the little pistols, they've offered up a big round. Spirit in with a fourth. Chopper makes a mountain out of a molehill on that one, right? Just the hero AK charging through, and FaZe take one peek, and it's the end of the round. That's what Dust2 can come down to, folks. Oh, no guarantees on that save either. Carrigan will at least keep the pressure on to get the AWP out for now. But Dexter has to retreat, and Spirit just want to save their weaponry. They came in with pistols. They leave with a bounty. This, this might have been a dire start, Hugo, but after winning that round, yeah. after picking it up with a hero AWP and AK and the Glocks even getting involved, now 
The sky's the limit for Team Spirit. If they win this follow-up, if they win this round, they break FaZe's money. Even now, it's in a weird spot. The buy is only facilitated thanks to that saved AWP. FaZe, their money is on the edge. And so if Spirit gets a five, a sixth is going to follow. Suddenly, this is a very close game of Dust2. And Spirit still have their best side to come. It's back why to the B-play. Right, why right around, here they go. They go running in first, Siren leads the charge. The response is immediate. They were spurred on, man. They oh. wanted that to be the opener, but instead it's a whole new can of worms. How many of these rounds have just been cancelled by FaZe, right? Spirit may have a game plan, they may have come in with the biggest strat book in their pocket, but FaZe are tearing out the pages, inking over the letters. A B rush denied. That was all five there. Spirit have no map control. They've got to reset T-Spawn just to regain that. And again, it's about the mid-rounding. It's something that Chopper's not known for. Something that FaZe, their in-game leader, more than apt, more than ready for. Five on four. Flash peak for Rops. For Rain, rather. He takes Patsy. Brokey still up on the angle as well. Where there's one, there's often more for FaZe. Five on three. You don't want a cooler save. Outsiders would. Does Chopper. Usually no, but under the pressure, it's certainly running through their mind. They're certainly considering it. They're going to try and tempt fate by moving back into B late in the round. Twists up close. Will he be checked? Oh, it comes down to this. Will they pick it oh! right? He just turns away. That's an opener. Now they're moving in. Up in the window. Rops is brought down low. They've got to concede. They've got to fight from the double doors. They've at least kept FaZe looking pretty in the 4v2. Oh, spam on the bomb. Not a kill yet. Magix wins his tunnels fight. This is starting to spiral out of control for FaZe. Still got the man advantage, but at what cost? Rops is low. He's tapered. He can't lead the charge on this one. It's going to have to be someone else. Rain out through the doors. Brokey alongside him. Magic's no swinging way. and winning. 1v1. Rain can't find him in time. The He's bomb. got him back into the tunnels, but the bomb's not for him. Oh, Magic's, you've got to be quick here. 10 seconds. No kick. Oh! And Magic's wins the round. Ace. All five in a 2v5 to get it done. That should not be doable. Unbelievable for Magic's. And he reminds us it's not just the young guns of Siren and Patsy here on their first big stage, it's his chance to shine as well. Why save when you can win the round? And Magix does it solo. That's all it takes, Harry. You said it was coming back. You said Spirit were warming, were waking up. Well, they've broken the money. That round, that ace from Magix oh! could mean it all. They've just got to... Stave away the pistols, they've just got to deny some crazy eco win. A no kill collat. <laughs> that one's gonna hurt. They denied the orc pickup though. Molly's at the top and bottom of middle. Spirit just keep these pistols out. FaZe get cocky. Off that first kill, but they can't do anything with it. Twist, hey, you may as well walk the smoke or shoot up over. Siren just dodges him, but again, it's realization for FaZe where this round is ending up. Patsy makes steps. The oh. eagle for Rain, but it's only one. And Spirit what? should break their way through, but Twist taps out another, and this almost got awkward. Magix puts it to rest. These ecos for FaZe make us scared. But Chopper with a smile on his face puts up six for Spirit. Sweaty stuff. Man, Magix is coming alive right now. This guy is uh, it is so quietly consistent within this team. He's yeah. always this kind of, at a bare minimum, middle of the pack player, right? He will give you consistent performances, but right now he's going above and beyond. Channeling something greater, hoping that he can be the one to bring Spirit back to life. Out through the long oh. doors, opening kill, goes the way of Rain, but Siren slipped the net, they slipped know. on through. They want to go fight him, they want to go deal with him, and so they will make it happen. Carrigan and Rain both winning their fights on the long side. Over in the doors again. Rain spams out the AWP. And in the blink of an eye, it's just Magic's left. Now he aced last time. He won a clutch, but he didn't win the 1v5 clutch ace. This is something greater. There's that first from the AWP, but getting, getting wrapped. 
In through Spawn, Rops is up in his face and he's there to seal the deal. FaZe Clan right back on the board. Yeah, foot on the gas, man. Rops even ran through upper tunnels to get that pick in the first place while the long play was coming in. FaZe have been relentless in taking back tunnels, even when they know Spirit are there. But far better when we have another long pop that FaZe are able to contain. Spirit have only won one round on that long A position, but they got a double entry from Patsy. Otherwise, he's 5-12. and 12. It's been a lot harder to keep up with the, the pace that FaZe is setting. More mollies for long. Spirit want a late pop. They smoke it right through. Carrigan swings with no flash, no need, and no siren now as he backs out in a 5-on-4. FaZe hold on to advantages yet again. Dexter does survive the crossing into the pit. Right now, Rain is trapped, boxed into a corner. Spirit gonna pump the brakes. Gonna give Dexter time to work this AWP. Molly at Rain, smoked by Karen. He's not about to let his teammate die like that. Chances, but double scoped up on the top side. Dexter has to change angle, and there's not even a guarantee that Rain is still here. Got to consider it. Rain's crossing out. He just gets back to safety, no. and Dexter's on the angle wrong again. The timings have eluded the T side AWP. The picks down mid, they haven't materialized for Brokey. It's been quite the opposite affair. Molly at 40 seconds. Spirit have to go back to maybe what's been working. That crunch, that late tunnels connect. Dexter's alone. Does he want to regroup or sell a fake? He can't do the latter without Util. It's a full reset. It's a wrap round. His team have to go without him. It's yet again on twists. Just one player, one man to defy it all. Oh, what a round, what a hold. Twist carries phase up onto a ninth. No more B rushes today, not in that first half. Yeah, and it may have been 10-5 and Mirage, and that one still got close, but this doesn't feel the same, Harry. One round the difference, but still, FaZe feel far more in control. However, again, I get ahead of myself. This CT side for Spirit is where they do their best work. We saw them against G2 pull a massive comeback all the way to overtime off the back of an 11-4 on CT side. They couldn't close it. They've got to now. Tournament lifelines on the line. FaZe Clan looking for glory, looking for the finals. And only spirit stand in their way. Composed from the start, nothing pacey. Not from FaZe anyway. In through the lower tunnels, Patsy and Dexter, both with dual Berettas. Getting up in the face of FaZe Clan. Twists waiting patiently, even calling for Rain to join him. Know about these tunnels players, they've heard them. I don't want to deal with that. How long does Twist wait? Because he's kind of tucked in now. He's in for the ride. They're gonna reset. FaZe are coming oh in. Double Julie's four guns. Is it enough? That's the question. Rain's got the range and he's gonna tap afar, but Dex is still taking these fights. He doesn't need to. He has tunnels on lock, and now at least Rain and FaZe know they have to go back to the other side of the map with the bomb. At a bare minimum, they've got two smokes, right? They've got enough to, to cross, to get these cross smokes down. Regrouping on the long side means you've got to get past Magics and Siren. Carrigan walking up, is he going to check the car? Is he going to check this angle? Siren lies in wait, beckoning him in. There's the first from the Ooh. USP, turns for the flash. Both players out of ammo, getting awkward now for Siren. Ooh. But he will hold on, will hold them down. And locks them out of this A-bomb site, Rops in the pit, P250 in a dream. Begging the air, the shot connects, but he can't find a thing. Spirit have won the pistol. Flawless. Dexter even stopped Twist lurking through the B site. There is no area un or no area contained, no area to take for FaZe. They try to fake out that they were resetting B and Spirit just don't fall for it. Siren hits some immaculate recovery shots off the back of that team flash as well to get him involved. And it's beautiful, blinded our FaZe and bullied by Spirit with a flawless pistol round. Now we've got a game. Carrigan in this trusty scout, it's one hell of a sidekick to this guy on this map. Looking down mid, he Ooh. will land the tag to Dexter. Already more than Dexter did in that entire first half in terms of mid-picks. He never once got a hit, never once got a kill. 
He even sometimes died to the boost of Rob's. But it is only one scout, Harry. Yeah, there's nothing around it, but I've seen this scout do way more than a scout should be able to get away with when it's wielded by Carrigan. I'm always willing to give him the benefit of the doubt here. There's a reason he brought this gun into play. Up through the short side with a man at ramp. He's going to have that headshot angle. Goose Swing could just deal with him right now. Could alleviate this problem. Dodges the nade. Still doesn't know about the man at the back of the site. The rest of his teammates pressuring middle and starting to move up the short side. The scout's now gone. Put in the hands of Brokey. It's not an orb. It's the baby brother of the big green. Oh, the crunch for spirit. They're oh, moving in the middle. With the MP9 and mowing them down and making money, baby. And it's just Brokey left. Like a lamb to the slaughter. He's gone in middle. Well, Chopper's got his one of hundreds. And he's feeling fine coming into this second half. This is the game closing up before our very eyes. And this is where we wait for Rain to activate, right? He's been super solid in this series and this entire playoff run for FaZe. He was a the reason they were able to keep Nuke in their pocket in that opener. He popped off on Mirage. And now he's got to go back to those entry kills. Him and Patsy, the two top performers in opening fights. We did not get that out of Patsy in the first half. Rain has to change that tune. He's four strong. Moving towards the Beely. Twist is just hoping to catch someone getting aggressive. It's very measured early on. It's very patient. Just holding on to key real estate. Hoping that Spirit get impatient, make a mistake. Take one step too far. It's not going to happen yet. Can't wait forever. Times the enemy of us all. Flash is going in. Carrigan at the front of the pack. This Mac 10. Oh, oh he finds the opener. He sees the second. He's foaming at the mouth. He wants it. And the <laughs> Mac 10 is going to run him down. Carrigan gets FaZe Clan into B. A rabid rush that might just end the round. Is there a really a way back in? That might be it. Carrigan gets dunked on a long way from home is Dexter. That orb is on the other side of the map. They need another incentive. They need an enticement and Twist will not give it oh, away. Oh, oh. Two headshots down and lower. Dexter's out of the round and FaZe break back, baby. Dexter was never believing, man. Everyone else was enticed by the nade. He was too far away. And as you said, they were looking for one more sign to give that a go and they get quite the opposite. Twist late on his flank, late on his lurk in the lower tunnels. Gets that one over the line and finishes what Carrigan started. Hey Chopper, I heard you like B rushes. Taste your own medicine here. Faze find their first on the T side. But was it a flash in the pan like many of Spirits were often reset by that CT half? At least the AWP is safe, but he needs to be broke, yes. He needs to be crazy in middle to find these opening kills. Try and thin the herd. Is this phase farming right now? Yeah, this hero war for Dexter, man, it's really got to do heavy lifting. The last time it was him and Chopper with hero guns, and they were able to make that round happen, but it's going to be a lot harder this time. Going to require a lot more. Dexter's very much the man at the forefront of that conversation. Please know that that AWP is still in play. And so right now, they're scouting the map. They're trying to get a beat on where Dexter is with this AWP. Dexter can just bait magics here, right? Peek off his contact, let those jewelies roll to life. The question for FaZe is do they flash closer? Is it over the top? Who's even going to throw it? It has to be Brokey at the back. He's the only one with a util. Twist his contact. Magics could get the headshot. It's only a dig. There's the swing back in. Dexter low on health and low on chances. FaZe will give him no more. They found the orb and they're going to avoid it. Yeah, it's instantaneous. The call was the moment we see that off, we go away from it. And so they get all the B kills, they get all the progress on that oh. side of the map. And even though they run into that AWP again before all is said and done, bomb's it cross. should be done. The bomb's going to make Surely it over. Not. Dexter, yes. one chance and the jump just sails him over the top <laughs> of the crosser. And again. <laughs> they just swap sides. 
That's 11. Hero Warp Brown does a bit of damage, but not enough to win it. Spirit, just three behind. But that gap is growing. That yeah. gap is getting bigger. They say what you want. They still stay competitive in this entire series, right? And even though it's easy to doubt out Spirit, we've said that, yeah, they're coming in as underdogs and they've destroyed everyone they've played and they've impressed everyone that's watched them. This is still a competitive game where FaZe are not guaranteed anything. It was late activation on Mirage. It has to be the same here on Dust. FaZe 11 to 8. Hornets to dinosaurs, man. We got them all. And for Spirit, will it be the butterfly effect? The first rifle round for phase and Spirit want a response. That's one way to start. Lovely, lovely opener, right? And that's a real feel-good moment. They couldn't catch damage on the cross in that first half. They dished some out this time. Open up their CT side, carrying it, dawling for V while Rain tries to get FaZe a bit of mid control. They're playing around this smoke. The bomb's still back in spawn on Twist. So Carrigan, even if he gets this, can't oh! follow through with the immediate B hit, and instead he's just fed to the Wolves. Left to fend for himself. Rops Ooh. getting swung, reads it. And has kept this even. They're going to try and cross out. No. But you can't get past this, Rops AWP, can you? Spirit down to two. They're so far away. They're so far removed. It might be another save again. Yeah, FaZe don't even know it, right? There's no guarantees here, but it will start to appear clear in a few seconds. Even Rain can hear footsteps on long. He might have even got to sniff out on one of these Spirit players. And now FaZe want to do what they did best in that T side of Mirage, the removal. Trying to dumpster the money in the late game to avoid these guns being kept on. Dexter should still have this shot. But he's not really been warmed in, right? FaZe haven't given him a lot of opportunities. Rain, can he hit something ridiculous? A bit of respect from FaZe, but a 12th round and four from those finals now. Spirit need answers, they need to dig deep. The usual things aren't working, the past consistencies are no longer there. Patsy, bottom of the board, Siren just barely above him. Dexter, barely involved with his AWP. It's Chopper and Magic's leading the charge. If we get even one more of these usual suspects switched online for Team Spirit, they can very much bounce back. But right now, to a two-man army is not enough against the horde of FaZe Clan. And we said it earlier, right, when Chopper top frags, that's that's your problem. Not because it's him, but because your stars are silent yet again, right? We had one T-side entry round for Patsy. He's been one of the highest rated players of this entire tournament coming into the playoffs. He didn't let it hold him back on Mirage, but right now in Dust, he's not given the same satisfaction. Now it's FaZe picking up the pace. Rain looking for the pick. That molly bounces back, and Rain has an open angle. It's very scary. Smoke in front and behind, and Rain still wants to double dip. But eventually, Nades will force respect, and we slow things down. I'm gonna creep middle. I'm gonna join up with Rops. Still have Rain waiting at long. Doesn't have to be a commitment here as they spread out. But they look invested. They look interested in what mid has in store. Patsy, bottom of the board, so often a big performer for Spirit. There ever was a time, oh! but now he's knocked out. Twists, secures middle, and now they look to go. Moving quickly, charging in. The B hole down to two. Chopper removed after the first. Sirens up in the window. Oh! Trap isolates that fight, drops the bomb. But he's very much alone in a world of hurt. Ooh. He's not welcome here. They're trying to flush him out, but he keeps holding on. 
Hokie and Rain a moment to compose themselves, but there's no real time here to take a breather. They've got to be pretty quick. They've got to be pretty snappy. Time is running out as they move through the tunnels. That bomb out in the open. Siren's still got to be on it. Swinging, oh. good for the first. Brokey in this clutch. Dexter, one shot. He has to land it. He has to land this if That's Spirit want to hold on. And the smoke in the door is missed. Brokey has not made this oh, easy. Baby. He needs to win the fight, and he knows that. Jumping over, Dexter misses. And Brokey's good for the bomb plant. It's a round of movement, a round of clutching. Clash of the clutches. Brokey backing out of there, and out through the window comes Dexter oh! with the swing! It was about time, tapered has been Dexter this series, especially in this map, but he steps up when Spirit need him most. Will that reinvigorate them? Will that pummel some energy for Spirit? They don't want their comeback story to be shut out here and now in the semis. The underdogs that keep giving it, Dexter longs out this game. I think that's so important for Dexter, man. You know, him and Brokey, fairly similar. They both love being alive in those clutches. They both live and thrive in the 1v1s, in the 1vx's. Oh my. They don't care, they don't even smoke the molly. They just take insta lower control. Phase a knife out, they're not even considering it. And Patsy finds an opener. It was about time, Orp for cover. They swing out, Dexter won't take the shot, the second one though instead. Shopper's pushed up, but Dexter's killed Brokey. It's all coming together. Dexter needed a push in the right direction, oh. and look at this, that AWP is lighting up middle right now. It's a no-go zone for FaZe Clan. Carrigan, what do you want to do here? Dropping in, and Siren makes it happen. Double digits now for Team Spirit. No way, have they really just been pumped up off the back of that clutch? I love that they don't even smoke the Molotov, right? That would give it away. That would let FaZe know they'd realize from the top of middle, they'd see that bloom, they'd make the call, but instead, FaZe run lower without a care in the world thinking the cover of the Molotov would stop the aggression. And it's about time to see Spirit confident, because that's all FaZe have been showing yeah. us all series long, all CT side. They were oppressive, they were aggressive, and Spirit now finally changing tune. A man Carrigan is a very tenured in-game leader. This guy's been and done it all. He knows when he's besting the confidence Ooh. of a team. Suddenly, Spirit have had that second win. Now, there is this early tag, however, <laughs> Dexter still oh, gives up awake. the goods with this AWP. Already having more impact in these last few rounds than in the entirety of that first half of play. Patsy with a second AWP left to hold down this side of the map with a bit of support from Magix. It's going a long way. Nades to soften them up, but the Deagles get ever closer. Oh. Miss shot, and Twist will capitalize. This Deagle turning on a dime, but oh. Chopper's up the ramp and won't let them break through. It's really been a battle of the in game leaders today, right? Hasn't it? Carrigan had some clutch rounds on Mirage. Literally, and Chopper's just trying to carry his team on his backpack. Boys, there's room for all of us. The Chinook cooking up. Another CT round for Spirit. Excellent spray. Oh, mate, look at this. Faze leaning towards B. They had a great B yeah. spawn for the immediate B hit. Last time they did this, Twist lurked long. Nothing changed for phase if they don't get this one over the line if spirit tie this game up this could be a series that goes the distance phase but not in that grand final yet it's not over till 16s on the board it's a read though it's a stack carrigan bails he waits for mid Flashed out from upper tunnels, the AWP in the middle. Dexter finds one, they're trying to trade, but this is the bomb on Brokey, he can't afford to give it away. A reset again. Plans rumbled by Spirit and FaZe have to figure out something new. Corridor smokes, Carrigan's trying to work them, pushing through into CT. Oh man, oh. Carrigan, he's dropped the gun firing off too soon, and now he's stuck out in the open. It is going to force a bit of respect out of these a site players. No choice but to give it up, to give this room over. Let FaZe get that bomb site and get the bomb down. Then group in a 5v4 retake. They're a man up, but they need to get it over the line. Oh. Rolls on short, brings us back to even odds. Nail-biter. 
Spirit coming in through lower. Nice oh. grenade onto the in-game leader. Brokey on the bomb site. No nades. It's all about the fight. It's all about the finesse. Brokey's flashed off. He can't hit a thing. And Siren will instead twist, decapitating for the cross. But he's gone as well. And Brokey can't clutch today. Spirit are here to play, folks. They won that final just as much as FaZe. And as you said it yourself, Carrigan knows better than most. It's not done yet. This is scary, man. If you're Carrigan, you know this is starting to get out of control. Those kind of confident plays, these pushes into the lower tunnels, these fights, the decision to even back out and play a retake and feel comfortable doing that. This is all coming with the territory of a close game. And now it's FaZe looking a little more measured, a little more tapered, a little more respectful. And bit by bit, it might just be spirit. Something's in the air. One gun. Spirit won rounds like this before, right? Chopper breaking into that B-bomb site, but Rob's now, it's not really the gun you want. Galil. Or Galal. There's enough of util for the full A play, for a full A exit. Just immediately lobbing all these in. They want to try and go. That nade's going to do good damage. One man does make it into CT. Carragher doesn't live long. Not destined to tell the tale of this round, surely. With him wiped clean, leading now from beyond the grave. The rest of FaZe running it into this A bomb site. They are giving room to plant that bomb. Ooh. The moment it goes down, Spirit are here to reply. Up in the site, there is a kill to Chopper. This could still get weird. Don't underestimate a twist the eagle. Magic certainly won't. The kill's going back the other way now. Oh. Starting to lose bodies, starting to lose face. Rain. Hidden inside of the site smoke, but he's low on health, low on chances. They're spamming him, they can't find him, and they eventually will. They wait for the smoke and mirrors to clear. No magic today. It's Chopper's fun house instead. Clown makeup on right now. And now a round up in the lead. This is five in a row on the CT side, Harry. It's all that we expected from Spirit. Strong CT side is what they showed against G2. Back in the previous stage. And even back in Stockholm, in challenges, it was FaZe in the first matchup of the BO1s to defeat Spirit, leaving Spirit two and three. They were shy of Legends before. They won their vengeance. And they might just get it. Quick pick for Patsy. Give him that second door, but he roars to life again. In-game leader for FaZe gone. Spirit on fire, all right. There's more where that came from, a long. Tunnels has been cleared by Chopper. Molly out, Patsy, gonna have to do something oh about my, this. Someone smoking. needs to help him. The smoke will come over from inside of the site. Magic's not about to let that Molly oh. be the undoing, but it will force a reposition. Brokey capitalizes. A 4v4 slows down as phase creep up long. I love this call, they're gonna go contact. They won't throw smokes, they won't announce this. The last second one's come down, but Spirit, they could flash through, they could send a rifle right into the picture. Big gap, Dexter, oh. all the room in the world. First man found crossing. Might need to do a bit more on this orb. Oh, the eagle now in oh. the back line. Dexter doubling. Hello. Oh, can't quite make it a third. Brokey knocks out his orb and counterpart, but there's more where that came from. Gonna need a far bigger round out of Brokey as he's the only guy left standing. 1v3 and it's not meant to be. Spirit, they keep racking them up. They hang on. And they hang phase out to dry. This T side getting out of control now. And miss smokes at this point in a major playoff matchup. That can't happen. That can't continue. A huge gap given to Dexter's AWP. And he puts him to bed. Siren as well with a late activation from Patsy. The stars are aligning for Spirit. FaZe called their first timeout. And that is a sign of the times all right. Spirit used three out of four. Yeah, you know, you might have been reluctant at first to come to terms with this and the, the idea that it was ever going to just slip through your fingers. But they're feeling the pressure now, so a moment to calm down. They can't ride high on successes of old earlier in this map. 
They need something fresh, they need something new, they need someone to be that hero player while Dexter has embarked on this yeah. hero's journey and built back into this map. What an incredible recovery, right? To think Brokey was 10-2 and, and now it's Dexter who is almost the opposite. He has risen above them all on the big green. Picks in mid again, Carrigan's tag. They can't finish him, but they've got him trapped in the corner. Spirit don't want to hold on, they let him escape. Smoke used, but already wastage for FaZe. Expensive start to the round in both health and utility. Two players in lower tunnels. They're going to go back late. With this little map control, it's surely got to be the bee crunching Look. spirit every time. Have kept three leaning this side. Yeah. You, you think Chopper hasn't seen a late bee commit before? You think he hasn't encountered one of these? He's been there. He's done that. Got the t-shirt. All that and more. Hey. Even a third map is now back at the side. Patsy with this orb. They're coming in. They're moving Ooh. through. The mad dog of Chopper let off the leash and he's lost him for blood, but set too far. Chopper's got to hold oh. the line alone. Moving in, it's FaZe. With all the openers, with all the glory, and maybe, just maybe, a 13th round. This fight in mid, Carrigan might not ever want it. Oh, but he's gonna win it anyway! If he went down there, Spirit might have attempted that. But he holds the line, doesn't give them a way back in, and the streak is broken. Six in a row, but FaZe are back on the board. Dex is just looking for damage, but he needs his orb. Couple of shots go astray and phase find 13 as much as Spirit brought us all the way to 29. Back last map, phase will try and do the same, if not more. They don't want to end it on Nuke. They don't want to have to prove themselves yet again on what has been such a home map. But Spirit have held solid on this CT side. One pause for phase, it's worth its weight in gold. Take it all in. Another pause for FaZe. They, they, they need to replicate those successes, man. They've got to keep chaining these together. There aren't really room for mistakes. There's no second chances in this one. And Spirit have been taking along a lot. It's something that FaZe haven't really exploited on this T side too much, right? They, they, when they get it, they, they've tried to commit into A plays and often failed there, but they keep getting you know B side spawns. Again, this round, FaZe don't have a long leaner. They shouldn't go for that pick. And so even more map control for Spirit, Titans phase, the noose around their neck. Both teams are all in. Everything is put on the back of Again. winning this round. Patsy running the gun down through lower. Holding for a push, for a peak, and he delivers the opener. Now they've got him trapped, now they've oh. got him cornered, dropping in, Mad wow. Man, chased down by Rops. Cool enough to bear the burn of the Molotov, and the last thing Patsy expected, he started so strong, man, he's 7-4 and four in opening fights right now, after a very slow T-side, they've got to put a stop to Rops, takes the ducks below the scope. Oh, man, Dexter, gonna write this off. Leave mid open. Spirit moving back towards this A side and phase. They're setting up for a cap play. Three strong right now. Spirit, everybody's here. Right place, right time. No excuses. They've got to close it now. And if they do, they could be taking us to a third. It's all hinging on putting a stop to this A play. Oh. Magicson Chopper up at the front. Here come the flashes. There go the guns. They're oh. roaring to life. And it's all coming up. Spirit with the double opener out through long. Twist needs to be the hero, needs to be the man, needs to give them a route back in, but nothing's getting offered up. Spirit duck on out of there. This is beautiful. Seeding the site, playing a numbers game, playing the long game on this one. It's down to them now. Instead of letting FaZe collapse upon them and, and, and try and find the perfect time to split this site, if they allow FaZe to plant. They want to play retake. They rely on the 3v2 advantage. But Robs is still here, kicking up a storm. Dead to Magix and Twist from Long without the orb needs to close it with two. 
One up CT, one on the short side. He's moving back, playing a very long angle. Bomb is planted for platform. He's going to have a chance here, but not many opportunities. Oh. Going to make every one of them count with that shot missing. Next is Orb oh. is dangerous. And Spirit on to 15. How are we here? How do they hold on? This team has grit. They never give up. They never go down. And they've got one more to send us to a third phase, quaking in their boots right now. And Spirit, not the team to surrender. A streak of six in the CT side for crying out loud, and even when FaZe broke it with a timeout, it's Spirit to come back in with a perfect call to retake it a 3v2. Don't let FaZe play their game. This was 12-8 to FaZe Clan. And Spirit are the ones about to take it over the line. FaZe have gone back to what's worked in the past, these B-side leads. Yeah, Twist is considered wastage right now. It's not like anyone's aggressed long, anyone's made any crazy moves. He's gonna try and fake things out and keep Spirit's attention on the wrong side of the map for the first time. They don't have a B stack, but as I say that, Siren peels in. Patsy rather regrouping with that anchor. But here's the commit. Yeah, Siren's gonna hide, no choice on this one. Flashed out, he needs to just play for time. Here come the Orbs to try and bail him out, to try and save the day, and they certainly are. Patsy Ooh. and Dexter kills a piece. There's another Orb still in the round, still very much in the picture. Dexter at the window, composes himself, takes a breather, takes a moment, knows that this could be the 3v3 that does it for Spirit. To take every one of these opportunities. Grouping now for the retake. They've got flashes, they've got util. There's nothing for a while, nothing but silence. But when they get going, boy, will they get going. There's the flashes going in over the top. Here's the push out through the doors. Brokey with the spray, only good for the first. Rops and twists, need to do it, need to hold on. And Dexter's the no! Rops pops off again, and over time rears its ugly head. It may have let FaZe down in the past, but at this point it's going to pick them back up. Spirit sit on map point, but they can't close this retake, not on the B-bomb site. Another timeout called. But Rops not only cracks open another bomb site for FaZe, where Rain has gone quiet in the T side, but he ends it as well. Four kills in the second half for Rain after 15 on defense. At least Rops has stepped up to the plate. But dinner's not served yet. 30 rounds. And maybe more. I mean, look at this buy, it's gonna be nothing. Yeah, that's what we were saying, right? They've been all in, they've been all in for these last few rounds, both teams have. Neither one could sustain a loss. Look at what Spirit are bringing with them. It's five sevens upon five sevens. An AWP for Dexter, and that is it. Is he in the right place? And even then, is it the right time? Stuck in the middle. Faze show nothing, he goes back to that site. Oh my god, the aggression. Rain holding on, and he gets dinked immediately. Oh, They're gonna yeah. chase him down. Can he deny oh, the monitor? No. Patsy goes through, and Rain finds the kill. Smoking himself out of the tunnels, he just wants to stay standing. Stand tall, and that's what Dexter needs to do, but again, out of position and contact once more for FaZe. Those smokes come in late. Hey, they're still going into the orb. They're still going right where Spirit want them to go. Everyone is grouped inside of this safe bomb site for Spirit right now. As FaZe send that first man in, Twist, the sacrificial lamb, in with the first. Oh! oh! Makes it a double! He wants overtime! He wants it now! Twist's dead! They deal with the point man, they deal with the man at the front of the pack. But as these smokes fade, it's cutting open sight lines, and there's FaZe into overtime! Beast mode right now, and Spirit are going to be shaking just that little bit. Call them the comeback team all you want. Would have been easy for FaZe to roll over with no solutions on these T-halves. Those pauses provided all they needed. Stress for Chopper. And more rounds to play. Nuke is not loaded. Bolt pulled back. And the cartridge goes flying out. Phase find 15. I can't believe it.
10k mr3 double orbs a little more dangerous spirit just have to rely on big deck yet again yeah spirit have pushed into their very limits right they push phase all the way the max they can give at last 10 percent now getting used up in overtime taken phase starting to move up catwalk trying to keep spirit guessing but this does look like a mid to b play with the territory phase have right now hey lobbing that util in carrigan oh. leading the charge front of the pack man with the crown going up going over but there's also the first to fall up close siren holds on they oh. might get in but siren's taking them out of the round Oh, shotgun all comes in for Brokey. He's got a train. Still got one more man to deal with. Patsy won't let him through. And it's the young guns causing a ruckus in the B site yet again. No one needed for Patsy. Can he close it? Just Twist to deal with. A 1v1, a temporary one. And Twist can't find this kill. The info's given up. The net's closing. Spirit are leaping in for the fight. Twist goes back and he dies to Chopper. 23 deep for the in-game leader. Spirit get it done in the first. <laughs> Sold out in the sports place. these eyes watching all these voices crying out and spirit have not yet crumbled under all that pressure a standoff in the tunnels who breaks first who gives the opener moving through the long side twist wants to get involved but he's caught double peaked gets the info that two are deep long maybe that's something for phase to react to but that is not the opening opportunity you want. That is dire. Great save for Patsy, right? It's been a story of recoveries for Spirit, whether that be Dexter on the AWP or Patsy in finding these opening kills. Magix will find it, but a couple of offered up bullets to lend in that assist, or Magix was likely dead on the entry phase. Back to basics, cat take up. They're gonna try and drop potentially a player into the spawn, but it's seen full oh. info reigns. Not a surprise, Chopper can come in with a backstab, and he will through the smoke. Brokey needs to quick orb, but he can't get the kills, and FaZe are falling like flies. Rops is so far removed, the money's on the edge. FaZe are broken, he might just have to save here. This is Spirit teed up for 17. Potential at a flawless first half in OT. Yeah, even though FaZe found back-to-back -back rounds to even bring us this far, Spirit don't get in their own heads. They hold on. It's their CT sides always and forever. And it might just be looking for three in a row. That would poise them perfectly to take this the distance, to give us a three-mapper that this semi-final deserves. Do FaZe have anything left in the tank? Can they crack open a bomb site? They are really not going to have a lot to work with. When you look at this buy, you don't like what you see. The save from Rops allows like a bit more to come out here, but it's far from ideal. FaZe are going to have to make the best out of a bad situation or else Spirit run over them in this first half of overtime. Chopper might have kept Spirit in this. He might have got them to this point, but now we look at the young guns as they roar to life around him. It's almost poetic the grizzled veteran of the spirit squad yeah not that got us to this point and now we look at the new generation to pick it up hinge smoke drop dexter tries his hand at the wall bank and again on the wall bank is the third time the charm they're all sailing past right now you talk new generation i mean it's the unproven for spirit versus the rocks the legends the rock stars of FaZe. Right now it's Spirit changing their tune, looking for three in a row. FaZe try and execute, they're still gonna go. That smoke is not a deterrent, it's gonna beckon them in. 
Next is flashed off the angle. Carrigan's burning alive, needs to get out of the fire. Try and cross that oh, all. Oh, it's hungry. Oh. You hear it rain out with the first, and now you're ready for even more. Chopper flash yeah. in for the fight. Left, right, good night on terrain. Bomb goes down, but phase it's dire. They're trapped in the site with two. Post plant for sure. Rops is meant to win this round, should the situation call for it, but you need the rest of the gang to thin the herd. Rops is out wide, fighting currently. Twists, still waiting for a long peak. So measured for Spirit, so slow until they intend to move in, until they intend to go. And here it is, both players fight. Back oh. to back in this site. Brokey with one, no Twist way. follows up. It's a 1v1. Oh man, oh close. No. No. For the last possible second, the last chance, it's felt so calculated for Spirit. Every player peeking together, every trade amassed on the retake, and Twist stands and delivers above it all. Unreal. We're not in nuke yet, folks. As much as it felt like FaZe would crumble, that's only going to pump them back up. A taste of blood yet again. Victory on the tip of the tongue for Spirit. They've just got to do it right. Two rounds in this T side. First to 19. Oh, close on the mid cross, but close ain't good enough. Spirit might play the money game in their first CT round. Uh, moving away from what worked so well in regulation with a double orb. FaZe know what they want. Immediately Rops joins Brokey. Twist tucks into an angle that's given him multi-kill after multi-kill on the B-bomb site. But that's got to happen here and now yet again. Chopper classic. Twist needs to hold the line dead right away. Rops trapped in a corner, boxed in, a caged animal, but the claws are out. Oh! Oh! Swinging out with a double, he's kept phase in this. Still all to play for, still in with a chance. Phase now grouping around. They know they have to retake this. B site's been compromised. Nades go in. Oh, they dear. do damage. Magic just escapes with his life. Still alive. Still in play. And still a 3v3. Smoke in the tunnels, smoke in the doors, trying to nullify as many angles as you can as you move in. Flash now going over, this is the push. Carrigan's in the fire, burning alive, but they can't get a beat on phase. Dexter will with one, out through window, broke, he's gone! An immediate calm down for Chopper. Don't get ahead of yourself, folks. This one's not finished, but Spirit of Elise set themselves up again. They could not do it with their last map point, but they've got one more. 18 to 16, a big explosion through the smoke. Twist falls first, and even with a double up for Rops, it's not enough. Spirit want to try and battle open this long position again. Dex has got the beauty spawn, but FaZe won't throw themselves into the fire and flames, not yet. After the volley, Dexter with a miss. He's but burning, he follows he's up. Burning. Oh, saved by the bell. Smoke goes in, and he gets the kill. Massive. He just got saved by Magix, his guardian angel. And it's kept Spirit in pole position, a map point, a chance to take us to nuke, to long out this semi-final. Four kills is all that separate us from it. Well, FaZe go down without a fight. Doesn't oh. look likely. Rops in middle. Immediately makes it even odds. These orbs finding everything for FaZe. Keeping that little ember of hope burning on long into the night. Here they move. Roki, the one A side defender, the one man to try and do it oh, all. Dear. They drop CT, they flushed out Rops. Now's back. an opportunity, now's a chance to play around here and start to manipulate these rotates. FaZe are trying to get ahead of it. They've sent Rain out through the long doors, and now he's flanking, oh. but it might not matter. B site's wide open. Patsy catching the jump down onto the Glock, needs to do it with the sidearm, and he can't find it. A 2v2. Rain's got pace, Rain's got timing, but Brokey's not got a flash, he's got to do it dry. 1v1, no one's even looking, oh. and Rain burns through the B-bomb site. It's Dexter in the clutch now. And oh. he's dead! Oh. FaZe 
fight on. Double overtime, perhaps. Spirit with four kills from a third map. And phase of five from another overtime. And man, Rain, he might have fallen off a little bit right ever since that second half. But I tell you what, it's him in that moment there that really gets FaZe back into the swing of things. Brokey wins every fight he has to win. But it's Rain's pace, his decision making to up and leave long, fast commit to the B play that bails them out. Oh, you can see the stress as well, right? Patty put up such a beautiful round in that one. We've already talked so much about his recovery arc, but that drop into spawn, that delay play oh. was dirty. Oh. And now he's got immediately frustration stations for Spirit. All hands on deck. Drops, wields the second sniper, and he doesn't put them to bed again. Oh no, you oh. two out. Brokey had a chance there. Instead, they're boosting in middle. They're trying to keep Spirit away from this B split. Spirit, I'll take that in their stride. They don't want to split B, they want to end B. They're moving in through the tunnels right now. FaZe have got bodies here. Three strong as they start to move in from middle. Molly's going to slow them molly. down. Twist what? tries to swing in, but he's gone. It's oh. Ray. Holds the line. Oh, Ray! This game will not end. You will die tired. This has got to take every bit of energy out of every single man on the stage right now. What a whirlwind is this semi-final. Spirit just can't get comfortable. How many map points has this team had? How many chances has Spirit had to close and phase fight on? It's not advantages being thrown away, it's a recovery arc for FaZe. Again and again they do it. And now one more time. First to 22. Hey, the fact he's even leaning B, like he felt something <laughs> was up there. He was not happy with the scenes he's oh, seen. he's ready! Dexter is ready for the boost! Finally! How long have we waited for Dexter to pick mid on the T side? Been empty of openers here. Oh, look at this, look at this gamble. Flashes just got lobbed over B, a bunch of flashes at that. And FaZe instantly got paranoid. That's the effect of being up against this spirit. You know at any moment you could get Delta B play. spread the resources and plays out right now you know they've got a lot in middle they've got a bit over at a but it's spread very very thinly i, I like the twist he's taking the orb as well right last anchor round on this b bomb site he got blinded out by the by the flashes over the top he couldn't do anything with the a1s he can always swap out on a retake but right now anchoring down this bomb site he's got the gun for the job set themselves up B early on and the bomb might be here but right now spirit are kind of probing catwalk they're giving it a bit of a look in is this going to be another one of these ct drops spirit have got away with that a lot so far carrigan pushing up Let's get a beat on this oh, they make it. it down and patsy gets into ct this is a big problem now for phase it suddenly means oh. these B players have got to hold the line. Twists back at the site. AWP finding all the kills in middle. What? They step up to the mark. The in the blink of an eye, it's a phase clan round. What a gun swap. At the perfect time, the perfect point. Patsy may get spawned. But FaZe shut him out again. That bomb was even dropped up a sexy shot to twist. And even if he dies, that bomb is so far away. With only 20 seconds, FaZe 19 to 18. They just about get it done. With every round that goes by, FaZe get more pumped up. And Spirit get more cold. Going slow again, moving away from the standard B pops, these flashes through smoke. We've seen none of them. Brokey, they're not going to molly him. And Patsy almost finds that pick. Very he's dangerous. Broken. He's up ahead of it as well. That tick gets hurt. Brokey knows. It's no surprise. Patsy's in his eyesight, moving all the way through. Oh my, oh my god, back oh to my. Him. Patsy gets a chance and he capitalizes. Brokey's gone. Twist has to save the day. And so he shall for now. Holds on with that first, but he's oh. got to do so much more. 
And each fight, giving Spirit a way in. Rain, huh? what are you going to do here? Oh! oh, there's one. Dropping down, he's caught from middle. And so now it's all on Carrigan. They know he's often the long yeah. man. They know he's often the A player. They're going to duck out of there. But as usual, Carrigan's up to speed, up to pace. Moving in through CT. A big clutch is being asked of the man at the helm of phase. He's done it before, now he's got to do it again. Finn Anderson up into the B doors. Two players ready to cross, they're banged out on him, but he's good for the first. Smoke in the way, Finn's not out of this one yet. Siren needs to get that bomb down. And oh! runs to his death. Outsmarted, outplayed, and Siren with the round. Spirit needed it, man. They needed it. They couldn't get swept right back the other way, right? It's them with all the leads, all the overtimes, all the map points, but none of the closers. Finally, a clutch comes through the other way. And Carrigan, no respect against the young, and the Spirit show him. You can teach an old dog new tricks. Solid start for Siren. Orbs back to mid, Dexter forced to fire, and FaZe will face, but nothing to be seen. 31 kills for Roki right now, but he doesn't get that opportunity. He's got to go back to the drawing board, located on the A site. This is brutal. The gloves are off, man, and it's just a battle to the last man standing. Bloody, bruised, and battered is how this one goes down. Who's got the grit? for a bit of support on the catwalk. Thinks they can find a way in on the A play. Been a revolving door of players trying to hold down this A bomb site, and now it's rain. Is he up to snuff? Is he up to the mark? Smoked off right now, but eventually Spirit are gonna look to come through that. Drop in again, but it's a bit delayed. Patty makes it. Is Rain ready? He's run right by. Everyone's blind, oh, oh. and Rain gets the kill. Spirit got to commit. They're double down. They're stuck in the open. Brokey's going to get burned back, but he's still got a chance to fire off. Headshot doesn't connect. One health, and Magics will end it. Chopper even found a pick at the same time onto Rain back in spawn. And while Twist has filled that point, Spirit are making more holes in the head of phase. More problems as Siren follows up and Rops is left in an undoable clutch. Spirit by 20, again they lead in overtime, but it's let them down before. Man, oh my, dude, the grit that we're getting. Chopper still topping the board for Team Spirit. 30 kills deep, but now he's got a supporting cast around him. On the other side of things, Carrigan, bottom of phase, struggling to live up to some of those huge clutches we got out of him on Mirage. Yeah, team may only be as strong as his weakest player, but at this point, when he's going to the T side where he's able to cool his bread, his butter, it's not just bludgeon B plays through smokes for Chopper. Carrigan can mastercraft something for sure. And we need it now more than ever. If you can't deliver in the frags, you've got to deliver in the cools. And that's what we know Carrigan to do so many times gone by. Brokey. After the molly lands, takes a shot to lower. No one pushes. He's seen so many times Patsy has come in on this lower aggression. FaZe get it for free. It's confirmed. Such a change of pace for FaZe. Pressure oh. is oh. building. The orbs ring out in middle, and it's Dexter to open up. FaZe are hot on his trail. They know where he's gotten to, but dealing with him is going to be a tall order indeed. <laughs> Magix is creeping back in. Magix wants to fight this. Magix wants to go, and that's going to give a kill to FaZe. Do they hit the go button? Dexter's still here, but he's up oh, in their face. That's one of the grave with him. Moving in now to the A play phase. They have themselves a two on three. Bomb getting tossed. Twist the man to plant it. It's a big flank. It's been coming in on the long side. They're going to try and pull the wall over FaZe's eyes. Bomb now planted. Coming in for the short side. It's set up for Brokey to win. Anything from 
twist is helpful. Even one oh. kill. Fighting them. He goes to them. Twist comes to you. No. There's the double. Last bullet in the magazine. And he puts it to use. Not running dry this time. It's Twist with a name. And a slam dunk for FaZe. 20 all. They've got to be flawless. They've got to be ruthless. And two more will do. Doesn't matter who gets it. This map relies on both. It just never feels clear cut, man. Anyone can do it. Anyone can get this over the line. I can't believe he hunts it. Man, it's so ballsy, isn't it? And the commitment as well. Yep. Just Phil, so composed, the nade to close. It's a thing of beauty. And we're right back into this. Yeah, try and push slower, just you dare, spirit. FaZe don't even want to take those mid-fights. They just want info. They just want guarantees that Chopper's not up to his usual tricks. But Carrigan doesn't know. He doesn't clear it. Chopper <gasps> escapes. Out. Did he really get out? No way. FaZe can't punish the point man of spirit, the in-game leader, with an opening kill in a must-win round. That was the clash of the IGLs. Chopper comes out ahead. Spirit now teed up. Oh! 5v4 for a moment. Eyes closed for Ops. Do they want to go with this? Oh, it looks yeah. like they want to go. That's their invitation. They've RSVP'd. They're out in the middle. Rain leads the way. On the other side of the smoke, it's Patsy. Flashed oh! in. Doubling down and laying the pain in middle. Patsy on this rotate. Siren still holding. It's a rough world in this B site. And FaZe are churned up. They've got to do it. A third chance. A second overtime. Spirit can't run out of gas. One more round. Nuke waits. And Patsy's put us right there. For FaZe, this is the ultimate test, man. There's no denying this all. Guys like Carrigan, oh. they've struggled with having games elude them in the past when we get into these OTs. Same can be said for Twist with his time in Liquid. This is the chance to show the world why this phase is so exciting. And if not now, it's going to have to happen on Nuke. Spirit, they're primed, they're ready. It's their third chance. They want to get it over the line. And it starts with Patsy in mid. Oh, he's activated. The ball's on this guy. He's woken up after that first half of regulation. FaZe have got to commit. It's so clear. It's so obvious. Every man of spirit pulled to the front line as FaZe through the smokes. The molly holds them off and Dexter goes through, but he may have dug his own grave. Down to one. Siren's low as well. FaZe are just getting flashed, bombarded, abused with utility, but they've got to make it in. They know they're going into a stack, into the belly of the beast. They've got to slay the dragon somehow. And right now, it's roaring to life. Magic's gone. Two kills in the blink of an eye. FaZe are still clinging on for dear life. Back in the side, what? Chopper's dead. Dexter and Siren are both so low. And Triple OT is waiting in the wings. No. We're going to get there. Siren, last man standing. They peek it together. And FaZe, Triple OT. There is no end in sight. No time soon. And to think there's more maps after this, oh, maybe. Oh, maybe, baby, but Spirit just can't close. It's been phases undoing before. Right now, it's the only thing holding them together. Comebacks are plenty. And to think it was Spirit, down 8-12, who even pushed us into these overtimes in the first place. I just can't believe it. Antwerp, are you having fun? That's what I like to hear. We run it back. Overtime three, map two, semi-finals. Fast through the lower tunnel. Spirit are back to their usual tricks. We've seen it before. FaZe have seen it before. And this time, they'll flash them off the angle. They get that early warning sign. Bombs out towards long right now. Cheeky. Robs is getting boosted to try and find a pick over the top of this smoke. Visual the spam. The spam. Oh! The MK's not meant to win that. 
Chopper's in the wraparound in the back line, trying to mop up a B play oh, that's yet baby. to come through. There he is with the backstab, good for the first. Smokes himself off. Right now, Rain is trapped over a B. He needs help, needs assistance, oh! and Twist will provide. How? How the hell does he get it? Knife out, recovery for Twists. And Carrigan, the knife in the back of the head. Magix is dead. Patsy will make it through spawn for now, but the orb cuts him down and broke you with the bomb, wrist it all in that lower engagement, but FaZe are fragging out. Fights are plenty, blood lust, and Dex is done. Like him or not, there's no save in this situation. There's only saving the orb. Do you reckon they can let him get away with it? <laughs> it's not Mirage anymore. Forget the money. You reckon Carrigan tests the waters on a bit of a hunt here? He's got his paddle out. Rain looks up for the job. Moving in through CT, trying to take this AWP away. Trying to make it very expensive indeed. A round of Spirit never even attempted. And a costly one at that if this AWP goes down. He's getting pincered in. He doesn't know about it yet. Oh. The rain has slipped underneath. Yeah. Oh, Dexter seems aware. Oh. But it doesn't make it any easier. Penny pinching our spirit right now. And you can feel FaZe wake back up again. New tricks in triple overtimes. B, smoke boosts. And to think that Siren heard the jump up. He heard the squishy skull. He sprayed through, but somehow Rob's got that opener. Bonkers round. FaZe will take it, though. You take what you can get this deep into a matchup. <laughs> Eventually, the exhaustion sets in. Eventually, the pressure starts to get to you. Spirit, they've had so many chances now and have failed to capitalize on every opportunity to close this map out. Are oh, the winds of change are blowing? Is this phase looking to flip the script? I mean, if they do it on the T side, that's the ridiculous part, right? Because it has been the CT half for Spirit. It's been that way the whole goddamn tournament. Their best half, the best CT team in this event. But phase, they've broken through before. They're going to try and do it again. Walking a solid path right now, out into middle, all alone on this one. Carrigan and Rain pushing and prodding, seeing if they're given any room to play with with the corridor smokes down. Twist flashed in, he wants to try and jump CT, and he manages to get down. Now oh, turning his attention boy. back, it's taps for Twists. Palm tree flash, Chopper trying to give them chances. Trying to save the day on this one. The bomb's kind of caught in no man's land here. Oh, oh, Dropped oh. up on the catwalk. Phase have got to get it. They've got 20 seconds. Magic's over at long. Phase are feeling it, man. Two sites at the same time. Rain's entering B while well, they're boosting up on the A site for picks. Magic's. Oh, he gets given one. Not out of it yet, Hugo. Don't give it away, Phase. You've got to close this. Four on one. Magic's oh. with a third. And he's onto the taps. Rain down in spawn. Orb grab. And Magic's the magic man of spirit. Pulls it out of his hands! Oh! Faze it away! And Magix keeps it cool in the clutch. How'd you like that one, Faze? It's gonna leave a mark. There's always a bigger fish, Hugo. Magix is <laughs> unreal! <laughs> Oh, he's so calm, and the frustration sets in. FaZe were feeling invincible, FaZe were lights out. They were entering both bomb sites. It doesn't matter. A reality check, and a mid-rush, surely not. Back to lower, and yeah. FaZe don't have the molly. For the first time in a while, they are constrained, constricted inside of the tunnels. It's Spirit's home now. Up a tunnel's oh! haunted, the Spirits are there. Rain bleeding holy water as he does send them out of the realm of tunnels, forcing a little more respect here out of spirit after that damage through the smoke. Magix is pumped. He must be filled with adrenaline right now, man. Can't imagine how that clutch, what that does to you. His heart racing. And he 
has been left responsible for this B side of the map alone. Deep breaths. No frags yet. 60 seconds of spawn side reset. Pull your gun out, Rain. They are right here, Ooh. but not for long. There's the tap. Magic is Another still man. in position. You've got to clear him, Robs. Coming in through the tunnels. Back turn. Free kill. There's a first. He's going to try and escape, and he can't get back in time. They've lost the magic. Now they need something else. Siren here. The alarm bell's going off as they start to move oh. in. The light's held. The oh. light is held. Carrigan, one versus two. He's done it before. 30 seconds, but he's dead to middle. Just when you think the ties are changing, the phase of building back on a T side, it's 2-1 yet again. Spirit, the solid defense that never should have been. Not after that Magic's round. But I can't tell you who's going to close it, because I've been wrong every step of the way. Every chance that has been had has been blundered. We've just got to wait and see. It's always a clutch to spur team spirit on. It started all that time ago in regulation with Dexter winning yeah. a 1v1 in the first half. That was the first little nudge. Six in a row off the back of it. Now we've had Magic's so answer the call with that 1v4. That's put a lot of faith in spirit. That's put a lot of confidence in this squad of youngsters. This game was made for the stage. The pressure, the hard work, the years of dedication, it all boils down to this. A few rounds separate spirit from success. Marops is up in the face and he doesn't want to let them get it yet. Just one kill on a long road to recovery. Patsy up the short side, oh! Carrigan's caught facing that there is a bit of an overstep from the IGL of Bay's clan. Someone's got to fill his boots, fill the void that's now left inside of A. Brokey will provide the first, but there's so many more bodies seeping out the short side now. Chopper waiting to cut off rotations. Now that becomes a problem if this bomb goes down. If Spirit get into A and FaZe are left retaking, Chopper could tear this round Hello? out from underneath them. Hello? He's moved past the what? What's happening? Robs turns around, flushes him out of middle. <laughs> oh my God, that could have been the round right there. Right below the scope. Instead, it's a 2v3. Magix and Dexter need to provide. It's an early dink. Magix now low. Dexter with the orb, bomb planted for him. If Magix can go one for Whoa! one, maybe there's a chance. But he's dead through the box. Dexter leaping into his death. And FaZe tie this game up! There might be magic in spirit, but that is something else for FaZe. You couldn't have called it. You weren't ready for it. Double orb with a wall bang through the box. And, and it all starts this. with this. I mean, Chopper had no idea. That wasn't some master plan, some trigger discipline. He didn't even clear the corner. Rob's had to look at his toes. And right now, towing the line, looking for 25, phase and Spirit again. We've been here before. CT Hello. aggression. Rob's got past the orb. Rob's got past the orb in mid, but they've seen him. They're reacting. They're going to try and flush him out in oh, the upper no. tunnels. Twist is dead, so Rob's better deliver here. A 4v4. Twist laid down his life just to get these guys out of lower. Was it all worth it or was it in vain? The B site now crumbling under the pressure. Oh, it's beautiful. They've even cut Rain out on the retreat. Rops has to commit, and so he shall. Shooting down Siren, there's oh a my. bomb. He's run over oh it. My. A tractor all the way to spawn, looking to farm up more. But Rops can't do it again. Magic stops him in his tracks. Two on three. This is getting weird. Carrigan's going to try now, right? If you remember Mirage, it was all around the bomb. It was Carrigan playing around that bomb that won a must-win round for FaZe. This is much akin to that now. They're coming his way. Carrigan. Oh! It's only Chopper left! One me two! Surely this is map point to face! Their first one! The first time, the first chance! And is it gonna be the last? It doesn't matter how hard this game is, it doesn't matter how much you may underperform, 
how many rounds you let go. All that matters is the ones you win, and Carrigan picks it up for what could be the beginning of the end. Yeah, that is unreal, man. Uh, quiet all game, really quiet from Carrigan. But in that one moment, in that one opportunity, he rises to the occasion. FaZe have not had a map or a match point in all of these overtimes. Right now, let this sink in. Right now, FaZe, five kills away from a grand final appearance here in Antwerp. I mean, in this form, I would not want to face either of these rosters, but FaZe might have just earned its spirit, had more than enough opportunity, more than enough chances. They are fighting for four overtimes. FaZe are fighting for a final, and Rain wants to end it in style. Running up mid, no respect. No respect, Rain oh! with the opener. He wants to end it in style. Gets out of there like a light, 5v4, and it's all on the back of Rain. Swiss creeping in. Success after success for FaZe Clan. It's back to regulation. This is what got the streak. This is what started FaZe. Disrespect for their opponent. Pressure on all parts of the map. Pushing in the face. And now three kills from the final of the PGL Major. Spirit moving in. FaZe are here. They're ready for this. This hole decides it all. Carrigan up and over the top. And here in the Diamond City, he's going huge. Going nuclear. Oh! Oh! 